So today I'm going to be showing you the Downsview Drive Test Center G route. This test route is latest as of April 2022, where the syllabus has changed for G test. Now you won't be judged on the basis of your residential driving. You will be taken to the highway straight away. There will be no three point turn. There will uh, no parallel parking and that's how it's gonna go so let me show it to you so this is the drive test center located at 37 Carl road that's where you're gonna be doing your test so i'm gonna give you first and a detailed route and also an overview so let me start with an overview first and then I can I'll give you tips and tricks how to nail your G test. And uh, it's a request, guys. Do like, share, and subscribe. It would really mean a world to me. And yeah, it's really important for my channel to grow and hopefully make more content for everyone. <clears throat> so this is your drive test center, right? So that's the Downview Park, thirty-seven Carl Road. This, if you see in the image, that's the entrance. You will go inside, register yourself, and you will wait at the parking lot. So you will take this route, right? And you will join to take a left at Carl, right? And once you're in Carl Hall Road, you're gonna go straight. It's a 30 zone. You're gonna go straight, straight, straight. And then you're gonna uh, join John Drury Drive. Then you're gonna go straight, straight, straight. Then you're gonna turn right at Shepherd Avenue West. You're gonna keep going, keep going till you reach intersection with Allen Road. So you're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is an intersection with Allen Road. <clears throat> There's a dedicated right at this junction. Remember guys, uh, many of the times this is a very busy road. So you might be in the queue to take a right turn. Anyways, nevertheless, so you take a right at the Allen Road. The moment you turn Allen Road, the speed becomes 60. You'll go straight. And then after the first signal, the speed becomes 80. So you're going to go at the speed of 80. Then you're going to go straight. Take this exit. And you're going to go straight. You're going to take this, the right exit, right exit, right exit. And then you're going to join the expressway. You're going to keep going straight, keep going straight. And you will take the first exit, this one, right? So once you exit, you're going to take a right on Keel Street. So you're going to take the Keel Street exit. So then you're going to keep going on Keel Street. Keep going on Keel Street. Then you're going to take a right on Shepherd Avenue West. Keep going. Then you're going to take a right at John Fury Drive. Then you're going to take a right back on Carl Hall Road. This is a 30 zone. Then you're going to take a right back to your drive test center. And in the first two rows, the instructor will tell you to either go for a forward parking or reverse parking. Welcome back to my channel. And as promised, and many of the people asked for it, I'm going to be showing you the drive test, uh, Drownsview Drive Test Center, G route, which is as per the April route. Remember, it can change at any point in time, but this is the route which most of the examiners are taking right now. This is based on personal experience. So do research just before your test if there's any change in the syllabus or anything else. At this point in time, for G-Test, they are mostly checking the express driving skills. They are not really focusing on the skills like 
three point turn and three point turn parallel parking all those additional residential driving but it can change at any point in time so do go to their website and remember follow the latest rules so this is the drive test center guys you will be going and registering in this office you will park your car if you see there's numbers on these uh, parking spots so you will decide where to park so this is the arrow so we'll go straight we have a stop sign here so remember to stop and then turn left and it's safe to do so go on this lane we'll be turning left on call hall road there's a stop sign so watch out for the traffic from this side and this side and then go this is a 30 zone guys so make sure you stay within the limit i'll show that to you as well this is a 30 limit we are still in call hall road so here you have a stop sign so make sure you stop do your three three mississippi one left right left check before going ahead keep going so we have a stop three always stop here as well it's a three-way stop and not really a four-way stop but the rules applies for like an always stop so whoever goes first go first and whoever is the last will wait for everyone for his turn so this is called john dury drive so yeah so keep going guys so we'll be turning on shepherd avenue so yes so now we are there so we'll be taking a right so this is a dedicated so some of the cars can go straight as well so do watch out if it's red stop and then take a right so now we are on shepherd avenue west so we'll be going straight till uh, and uh, i think let me show that to you so this is a 50 zone guys so the moment you take a right make sure you accelerate to go to the speed because uh, you were at the speed of 30 before that so we'll be going straight till allen road uh, at the intersection with allen road that is where we're gonna turn right it's a beautiful stretch of road guys so sometimes people do get carried away and then start driving at the speed which is beyond the speed limit so make sure on your test date stick to the range <coughs> keep going straight i'll be a little fast right now And since this is a long stretch, the examiner has a lot of option to make you do lane changes and all those things. So be prepared for it. So you will be on this side of the lane, guys. Okay, so you see Allen Road North and South will be taking Allen Road South and it will be a dedicated right. So this is where it starts. So make sure your signal is on, you give your intentions and then you turn right.
So guys, this is a 60 zone. So remember, the moment you take a right, you need to be at the speed of 60. Keep going straight. It is still a 60 zone, guys. So once you cross this signal at transit road, the speed limit becomes 80. Let me show it to you guys. Okay, so make sure you accelerate. So you go to the speed of 80. Try to be on this lane, right? So that you can merge. So we'll be taking 401 West. So keep going straight. Don't change lane guys, this lane will end. Watch out for the traffic who might try to merge on your lane. We are about to take a right. So this is where it signals that the exit is coming. So we're gonna go right. And make sure your signal is on because we'll be taking the right exit. We are going to 401 West. So ram at the speed of 70. Remember you are at the speed of 80. So you have to come down to speed of 70 and then keep going. It's the entry ramp. Make sure you're up at the traffic speed. Make sure you accelerate and then you will merge at the speed of 100. <coughs> So we'll be taking the Keel Street exit guys. So keep going. I particularly really like this view uh, which Google allows us to explore different routes. Sometimes when I feel because as everyone know in Toronto you don't really find parking anywhere. So sometimes I just use this view to see whether there's parking available in the area. It's really, really helpful, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about Toronto traffic? So keep going. We'll be taking the exit, which is the keel exit. So the best part of this route is there is only one entry and one exit. So both the lanes. So there are two lanes, which is going to turn right. I would recommend you to be on the rightmost lane if possible. So we'll be taking the Keel Street exit 362. Sixty. Right, so make sure you reduce your speed beyond this board to be at the speed of 60. And we'll be taking a right on Keel Street. Both the lines, they turn right. So we'll be going straight and we're going to be turning right at Shepherd Avenue West. Keep going and just from my practical experience of going on this route this route has a lot of construction sometimes so make sure before your test do drive on this route so that you are aware of any constructions in the neighborhood and you are prepared for it keep going this is the pioneer gas station See, construction boards, like I said, even the Google pictures. Traffic, I tell you, is crazy in Toronto. Keep going straight. 
Remember, there's so many intersections which you're going to cross. The residential area is long, so the examiner can ask you to do some lane changes and make sure at every intersection you check your left, right, skim through, keep checking your blind spot. Right? This is where we're going to turn right, which is Shepherd Avenue West. Keep going straight. This is a speed of 50. We are very close to our drive center now. We're going to reach John Deere Drive, which is where we're going to take a right. So this is where we're going to take a right. This is our always stop. We'll take a left here to Carl Hall Road. This is a speed of 30. Remember, guys, we're going to keep going. Remember to scan your intersection. We're going to take a right here. Stop. Examiner will make it take you right here. And he'll either ask you for a forward parking or reverse parking. Remember guys, follow the basics and do watch video, my video on tips and tricks, how to pass G-test. I have detailed down all the aspects the examiners are looking. Please be confident. Don't panic. Remember you are going to give there as a test, but it's a G-test. So you are expected to drive well, drive safe, drive well. You're allowed a little bit of mistakes here and there as long as it is within the ministry standards. It's safe and there is no harm done. Remember guys, be confident. It's just driving, right? All the best. Keep watching. Keep supporting my channel. Thank you so much.